Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Dark Souls, the Daughters of Ash mod. Here we are in Anne Orlando with my good friend, Siegmeier, who has gotten stuck, uh, well, frankly, a lot of players get stuck right at the Silver Knight Archers now. The difference being, the Silver Knight Archers have moved. Now, I don't even know if there are more than one, but there's at least one right up there who is in a location that I can't simply run up to and parry. Now, someone did let me know that apparently this one only has a single hit point. I don't know if that's going to do me any good, considering I don't have the stats to use any of my bows. But I think what I'm going to try and do is use... Let's see, what's the range? Okay, 50 on the longbow. And I do still have some feather arrows, and I should have... Let's see... The Weary Hunter, yeah. So I'll pop one of those. Oh, something else that other people have mentioned. Uh, they wanted to make sure that I read the Doom Thief. I think I did this in the last episode when I was talking about the Mimics. Or maybe this was actually when I was talking about the Bone of the Skeletons. But it's the soul of a lowly undead thief who witnessed more than most but ultimately knew too little. Blend into shadow and increase strength when your health is low. And then the other thing that I completely forgot was the Hallowed Ember. We didn't actually look at this one together. Sacred white ember infused with the remains of Sen's discarded soul. Okay, I'm really glad that we looked at this. Tradition dictates that a deity's soul fire must be handled only by a truly reverent blacksmith. I don't know if that's going to be Andre or maybe the giant blacksmith, if the giant blacksmith is still here. This ember gleams with the pure light of the goddess of the forge. Why then does it feel so cold? Hmm. Why indeed? Why indeed? All right. Let us give this a shot. Oh, there was something else. We are going to try the Blind Wizard. So I thought that you popped this and it just used a sorcery. I don't think that that's the case. And you have pointed out in the comments that if you just equip a sorcery, this could maybe increase your intelligence for a time. So let's take a look. My intelligence is only eight. And if I pop the soul of a Blind Wizard... No, see, it's still eight, and it seems like that just did another soul arrow. So I don't know that that does anything other than fire a soul arrow. If I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong. Okay, let us see if we can't oop, get this guy with a feather arrow. Well, that looks like that should have maybe... Uh-oh. Uh, he has more than one hit point. <laughs> he definitely has more than one hit point. I just hit him for one, and it barely moved his health bar. Let's try one more. Uh-oh. Yeah. Although, actually, his health is low. It's... Yeah, in fact, this is only going to take about 15 or 20 shots. Uh-oh. Although, I think his arrows are going to have a hard time hitting me. So, I'll tell you what. Let me see how many times I can hit him. Uh-oh. Well, this might be a little bit more problematic. Yes, he has extremely low HP, but... I cannot sit there, and I don't have enough feather arrows to actually do enough damage to kill him in a single volley. So the question is, are there any more? It doesn't seem like there are. So can I get to a spot where... Uh-oh. There are more. There are certainly more. Oh. Hmm. And I don't have any poison arrows left. We're going to have to try and do this quickly. One damage. Ugh. Well... I'm officially out of arrows and out of those old weary hunter souls <laughs> that took an excruciatingly long time and I still have another one ahead of me. 
Luckily this one I can hopefully just get up and parry with my great sword. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, it worked. It wasn't the most efficient. Uh-oh. See what kind of damage I do. Oh. Oh, goodness. Enough so that he dies just after a single repost and then the follow-up R2. Okay, well, uh, let me grab this soul item. Then we're going to go back down and talk to Sigmire. Hopefully, that's enough for him to continue. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. So, okay. Here's here's what you're meant to do. You're meant to realize that there's no way you're going to get that archer. And you come up here, you do exactly what I do. You parry and repose that one silver knight archer. And then you find that. You get a longbow. You get the poison arrows. You get the soul of a weary hunter. And then you can take that guy out with relative ease. That's not how I did it. That's not how I do things. All right, Sigmire. I think you're safe. Mm hmm. What the wait? Aha, yes. Uh, and a dragon scale. Excellent. All right, well, let's head into Anor Londo proper. Now, here's my plan. A few of you have told me that I'm kind of going about this somewhat the wrong way. Or not necessarily the wrong way, but in a way that maybe wasn't quite intended. Because there's something about the Lord Vessel. And that it, it kind of locks you out of certain content. So I don't want to get that just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore Anor Orlando. I'm going to go through kind of the actual palace here. And then we will be returning to Firelink Shrine. So I'll go back to the painting and we will go from there. That way I can check out the Darkroot Forest. I can check out the Catacombs and, of course, Sense Fortress. But I do want to see what... Oh, that was just sneaky. That was just sneaky. I do want to check out, apparently, the Royal Cathedral first since, you know, we are here and all. So very glad that I had the ability to upgrade this weapon. Okay, so what kind of surprises are in store here? Okay, not too surprised that the bonfire is not here. Definitely paranoid about all chests now. And we get Twinkling Titanite. Okay. I wonder if he changed any of the locked doors. If that is even something he could do. Aha! So, really minor change here, which is interesting, but Solaire's here, so we're still kind of following his quest line, which is fantastic. I'm already human, so I don't need to do anything different here. I don't have quite enough to level. Let's go ahead and talk to... S hmm. Oh, there we go. That was interesting. Nope. It's letting me rest from a bonfire from way back here, but talking to him... You really are. I am fond of chatting with you. I just want to make sure that I'm exhausting dialogues. Gotta watch out because of that other Silver Knight. Yep. It's right here. I did apologize last time for all the parries, but many of you actually came back and said that it's a skill that I had to practice to acquire and that you're completely fine with seeing it. So, okay. I will, I will continue. I will continue. It's definitely what I know. And also, some of you said that I was completely wrong in saying that it's not something that strength builds tend to do. Apparently, you often do it. Okay, so let's see. Anything hiding in here? Any crystal lizards? Well, let's check out this area. See what's waiting for me down here. Oh, you know what? I would not be surprised if Havel is waiting for me down here. Normally, it's just his armor, but can you just... First off, there's a Titanite Demon. Second off, I have a Mimic that I should be able to get a Plunge Attack, but also the Black Eye Orb is quivering here. Oh, that was fun. That was just satisfying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can you... That works for me. Two Plunge Attacks later. And what did you have? More Sorcery? No, three. Throwing knives. Hmm. 
So is this going to act like the haunting semblance? This is not exactly an ideal spot to oh, fight him in. Let's see if we can't kill him before we go after the black eye orb. What kind of damage? Yeah, not great. Not great, admittedly. Oh. Yeah, this is tough. Now, the damage isn't that bad. It's just going to take a little bit. Well, have him almost at halfway. I don't know why I'm finding this easier to dodge him with mid-roll than I normally do with a light roll. Alright, do your jump attack. There we go. There's the stagger. Excellent. Got nice bonus there because I got him while he was jumping. And it's gonna do... Ooh, almost got me with that tight knight catch pull. And you're gonna do it again. Yep. Okay, this is going much better than expected, actually. really thought this was going to be a lot more difficult given the tight quarters here. And finish. There we go. All right. Not too terrible. Not too terrible at all. And what do we get? 5,000 souls and sold tight knight. Is that actually the first time we've gotten that? I think it is. Special tight knight cut from one of the profane statues carved and animated by Sen. Oh, I like that. So Sen actually animated these. So Sen was not only a deific blacksmith, but some sort of conjurer. It can be used to reinforce other relics imbued with powerful souls. Many scholars suspected that these roaming abominations would return to stone after their creator's departure, but if anything, they become more hostile. Very cool. Well, let us use the black eye orb and see if we're still going to invade Lotrek. If you remember, Lotrek we found down in New Londo, he was still locked up. We never saw him at Firelink Shrine. It's still Lotrek. Still Knight Lotrek, still got his cronies with him. But a much, ooh. Uh-oh. In the remastered version, <laughs> you can use your Estus. That's how I did it last time, at soul level 1. So this is going to be interesting. Yep, 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 move. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, heavens to Betsy, that's a lot of damage. Whoa, okay. Hmm. How are we going to make this work? We're not, is, is the answer to that question. I'll be back, and we'll try that again. nice thing is we actually have enough to level up now so let's see oh and actually I did have enough to level up last time hmm oh, I'm still tempted by dexterity I really am but I'm also actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do endurance because someone also told me I need to check out gauntlets so right now two handing this weapon I'm doing 294 damage someone said that in this mod the heavier the gauntlets the more damage you do so black iron does 9.2 Oh my goodness. 374 damage? Wow. That is significant. Okay. Let's let's try it. Let's see. If I put the brigand armor, can I mid-roll? Yeah, I can mid-roll. Look a little silly, but that extra damage. I'm okay with it. Let's see if I one-shot these uh, silver knights. Not quite. 
Not quite. That is a really interesting addition. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I don't like my fashion right now, though. Let's see. Is there better? I don't know if that looks any better. But we want to stay around the three gold helms. Looks really silly. Shadow garb? Shadow garb doesn't look bad except for this helm. Let me see if I can switch this out. What about shadow mask? You know what? That doesn't look too bad. Looks a little odd that, you know, I'm role-playing a ninja while carrying a greatsword, but... I mean, I'll allow it. Alright, let's try this again. Now, ideally, I would get the caster first, so I think... I think we are gonna try that. I just need to... Whoop. That was actually pretty effective. Whoop. Careful now. And get the poke. Nice poke. Alright, let's get our bearings here. Outrun the soul arrow and... There we go. Good hit there. Oh, careful, careful. All right, Lotrek. Oh, just barely clipped. Careful. Oh, move, move, move. Uh oh. If that hits me, ooh, I was going to be toast. Caster is just about dead. Okay, got the... Uh-oh. Got the caster. That does not mean <laughs> I am safe. And... Is this going to do it? This would be amazing if this does it. Oh, not quite. No! <laughs> so close. So close. Might try something a little different. We might just go straight for the parries on Lawtrek. Nope. That didn't work out. I mean, I got the parry. I didn't get the repost. But it wasn't actually his fault. Nope. Alright, run, 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 run. Okay, there we go. There's some iframes for me. And then time to get out of there. Oh, quickly! And... Mmm. Ow.
Well, truth be told, I don't think I could have cut that any closer had I wanted to. Souvenir of reprisal. Guilty pay the price. Excellent. Let's head back. Ho oh, ho, Fire Link Keeper Soul, Ring of the Embraced, and three Humanity. Now, let's take a look at the Ring of the Embrace. Boost HP, stamina, and load, but it does break when removed. Ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful beauty. Oh, shame. Its power boosts HP, stamina, and maximum equipment load, but in return, Fina demands a portion of collected souls. Ah, so it's kind of like the Parasite from the vanilla game in that it's well at least it sounds like it's going to take some of the souls that you normally get from killing i'm coming back down here because there was a chest yep once again still just you know making sure don't want to get eaten now a few large side night shards anything else hiding and no all right well we've been at this for a little while because that took a few attempts but let's move on see what else the rest of the Royal Cathedral has to offer. Not going to do the normal shortcut, you know, the jump here. We'll be kind of taking it bit by bit. It's not an overly large area. And Orlando proper, as I call it. Ah, what? Wait, you're hostile? Also, you have a war pick. You're not the bonfire keeper. Um, hmm. All right. Interesting. She's wearing the bronze armor. He or she, I should say. Had a bandit knife, a war pick. Interesting. Ah, and we get the blessed war pick. Probably isn't anything different about that, all things considered, because blessed would just be an infusion. Okay, so let's see, what else do we have? This is, uh, I'm afraid to just kind of pop down in there. All right, no night. Once again with the parries. You know, if you do get tired of seeing the parries, please let me know, I'll try and shake it up a little bit. I'm not really good at much else, but <laughs> I can always try. I can always try. So down there, there is a treasured, no Titanite demon, because they moved that, or he moved that, I should say. And down there, we still have some treasure chests with just one silver knight, it looks like. Okay. I can deal with that. Ah, and there is Lotrek's armor, which we will take a look at right away. Lotrek, the embrace representing the goddess Fina's love. Yeah, that is about the same. By the way, I don't know if I'm the only one who didn't notice this until recently, but the armor of the embrace literally has arms crossing it and hugging in the back. It is quite literally embraced armor, which I I know. Everyone else is saying, yeah, we know. We paid attention. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't. Okay, before we try and open any other doors, let's get up here. And get ready to parry. There's a treasure chest out here, I like that. This balcony always felt a little underused. Aha, the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Now what kind of dexterity does that take? Because that would be more of a strength based bow. So if the dexterity requirements aren't too bad, maybe I would upgrade just for that. Okay, 20. That's uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Alrighty, let's see. So normally, Sigmire would have a bit of a quest here. And is there something still hiding over here? No. Watch them put an innocent NPC there, and I just tried to slaughter them. Ah. Oh, and I didn't just hit this chest. Shame on me. There's the brass set. Anything new here? You would think so. I mean, this is a Firekeeper set. Helm of the Dark Moon Nidus, Firekeeper of Anor Orlando. After becoming undead, 
After becoming undead, she visited the Dark Sun Gwendolyn at the Mausoleum of the Spiral Depths, became a Blade of the Dark Moon, and assumed the flame-keeping duty. She received this helm, which hides her hideous form and helps her hunt the guilty. Ooh. So, okay, I'm going to run back out here because there was that other door. I want to see if that will open for me. No, it does not. Okay, just one to be sure. One thing I do need to clarify. Now, I had talked about how I wasn't going to go and roll through the illusory wall and take on Gwendolyn just yet. And that makes sense because, frankly, I couldn't. Being able to roll through that illusory wall is a function in Dark Souls 3, not Dark Souls 1. So, my apologies for getting that mixed up. Really is no excuse. All right, let's head down to where we would normally find Mr. Siegmeier. Let's see what is waiting for us. Oh, got turned around there. Nothing in here. I have always loved how you hold two-handed weapons when you're guarding. Put your back of the fist against it for stability. I just think that's a, a nice little touch. One silver knight, two silver knights. And just two. All right. They are the Pike Silver Knights. Oh! Okay. Wow. I was able to get two parry attempts there. <laughs> so for those of you who are wondering, well, how do you parry? How can you practice? Well, apparently these Silver Knights are a great place to start considering they uh, they can give you more than one attempt. Oh. Hey. Excuse me. I don't know why I was mistiming those so badly. Okay, open this for a nice little shortcut if needed. Oh, silver straight sword. Excellent, excellent weapon. Not for me, though. Not for us in our current situation. We'll take a look at that. Ooh, homeward miracle. Silver knight straight sword. Oh, that's the barb straight sword. Silver knights of Anor guard the city using this slender weapon. It's chain attacks in which a wielder takes great advancing steps are deadly even in single hits. What about the miracle? No, and that looks to be about the same. Okay. Works for me. I am really tempted to put on that ring of the embraced, but I don't like the fact that it breaks, and I really don't like the fact that it takes some soul. Whoa. Oh, what? No. Not this guy. Not this guy again. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh oh. Wow. All right. Let's uh, let's get some. See if we can't get some distance. I mean, he's still just the Capper Demon. I might have to do those rolling R1s. Uh oh. Oh gosh. I missed. Uh oh. If he had followed that up, I was dead. You know, I think we can do this. We just really have to time our attacks carefully. That's good damage, though. That is really good damage. So if I can bait some big attacks... Something that leaves him open for a while. Like that. Oh, goodness. I should have healed there, but I didn't. There's my opportunity, though. Oh! Okay, I was blocking... Oh, no! What is happening? Oh! Oh, I was doing well. I would never have guessed that that was timed. One of these days. <laughs> One of these days we're going to get him. I hope. Kind of a cool mechanic. I don't know what to make of it. It's, it 
someone m mentioned that it's kind of like the pursuer in Dark Souls 2, and that is very much how it feels. Titanite chunks still don't even have an ember that would allow me to use that, but you know, I'm, I'm assuming one of these days. Okay, that was kind of cool. This is a nice place for a boss fight. Even though I didn't quite kill him, I didn't die either. So, you know, glass half full kind of guy. All right, let's, uh, there was a silver knight in here. I am going to heal up just in case. You know, I, I wish I had known. I mean, that would have taken the surprise out of it, but I wish I had known that he was coming. I would have popped one of the souls that gives me the extra strength. Lustrous rune, another one. And a sunlight elixir. The lustrous rune, okay, so that is something that does stack. It's not a one-time use. I still don't know quite if that is an upgrade material or if it's more of like an infusion type stone. I, I don't know. Oh, too early. There we are. I would like to get the Silver Knight armor. Because we've already gotten a single piece of the Black Knight armor. And maybe if we got the Silver Knight, we could compare it to see if there is anything kind of uh, nefarious going on with them. Dragon Slayer arrows. Oh, you know what? We didn't read the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. So let's do that right now. Bow of the Dragon Slayers, led by Hawkeye Goff, one of his four knights, Gwyn's that is. Makes sense. And what about the arrows? I am curious about the arrows. Giant dragon hunting arrows used by Hawkeye Goff. Makes sense. What about poison arrows? Does this make any uh, any jokes about how we normally use it? Nope. No, it doesn't. That would actually be a pretty funny little, little joke. I don't want too many memes in this mod, but... I would have been okay if it said something along the lines of, you know, truly effective against archers who wait for unwilling or unwitting passerby. I don't know. I, I can't write item descriptions, but you get the idea. So what do we have here? We have sentinels. Two sentinels, just like normal. Do I see a summon sign over there? I do see Solaire summon sign. We are not going to be going there just yet. In fact, we may not even take on those sentinels. I do want to drop down there to see what item that was, or that item now is. Sunlight metals. Because the item that normally was the great bow is still there. All right. Let's deal with you. Then we're going to go visit, hopefully, the giant blacksmith. And if not, what has replaced him? I don't hear hammering. Oh, I do hear hammering. Oh, good. Oh, fantastic. And maybe we could give him some embers. We have the Hallowed and the Runic. And actually, before we even talk to him, chest is still here. What if this was a mimic? Oh, that would have been devious. Voltaic bolts. All right. So what do you have for us? Let's see, purchase. I like this. I like that it actually tells you very specifically what it upgrades. That's very nice. Armor Smith box, we are going to buy. We're also buying the repair box. Learned our lesson there. Giant's Halberd. Seems to be about the same. What kind of, let's see, it's more of a quality, but that could be a good weapon. 5,000, I think we're gonna buy that. I think that could be something we, we end up using. Standard stuff here. And nothing else there. All right. We can't even give him... I thought maybe we could give him something. Let's let's try talking to him one more time and just making sure. No. Okay. All right. Nothing else here. I am going to open up this just in case. Just in case something happens to us. And what do we have? Batwing Demon? No, Silver Knight. All right, we should be able to deal with you relatively easily. Is that Drake coming in? Drake is coming in. 
Um, move, move, move. I don't even know if there are any items down there. I imagine there very, very well could be, though. I'm trying to get the lay to land, and we're running. And we're running. Oh, goodness, we're down to our last Estus, so I don't really need to be dying just yet. And Orlando. Some really nice surprises. Subtle changes. A lot of questions. A lot of questions are being asked, not so much answered. Curious as to why it seemed that the Dark Moon Knight has just attacked us when we haven't gone after Gwendolyn. So let's grab this item and then... Oh, careful. Just a Titanite chunk. So then what I think we'll do... Oh! Look at how clever that is. Oh my goodness, I never would have thought to look down here. Gold pine resin. All right. Can I get back here? Ah, oh, you can. So we're going to heal up. I am going to get Homeward Bone on my hotbar. I have four humanities. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Where are they? There we are. We're going to run down here very, very quickly. Just to see if there's any items hiding around the corners. Nothing there. And... Oh, there is an item there. Soul of a Pyromancer. Okay. Uh-oh. Is that going to get me? No. Run, 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 run. So I think what we'll do... Oh, to kind of wrap this up. Wrap up Anor Orlando. We're going to go down where the Sentinels are. Hopefully kill them without too much problems, open up the door, and then I think we'll just head out. And we'll just go out the main doors. And then it's time to start backtracking. We'll go to Firelink Shrine and we'll explore some of those earlier areas. Because I don't think I'm ready for Ornstein and Smo. I There is a fog gate. I mean, who knows? Maybe I can't even activate it. Because as we've seen with the Gaping Dragon, it might be locked behind a certain item. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> I am going to summon Solaire to help me fight the Sentinels. Because I have no healing left. But in the meantime... Oh, wait. Oh, there's a, uh, a Silver Knight waiting in front of the Ornstein and Smo boss gate. Oh! And where am I? Yep, there's the Wrath of God. Uh... Solaire, would you mind? Oof. This is this is going to get me killed because he's going to do the wrath of God as soon as I get close. Oh, no. Hmm. <clears throat> I should probably just not even not even try this. Do I have any lost cleric souls? I don't want to use a sunlight elixir. I have one. Alright, let's at least pop that. Solaire, you are hurting, my friend. And we've done basically no damage to him. Oh, there's some good damage, though. In fact, oh, that worked out very nicely. That worked out very nicely indeed. Do a Quick scout. Make sure there's no items here. With only one, I feel a little bit better. Feel a little bit better. And I was kind of hoping for a shield slam there, but that works out. That works out very well. Okay. Any items? Nothing up there. Nothing in the corners, just this Silver Knight Archer. No, no, no. <laughs> Hold on, Solaire. I'm going to have to actually send you away, I think. Oh, actually, this Sentinel dropped something. Titanite Junk and the Giant Helm. Excellent. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be wearing the Giant Helm, but 
you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. So here's the thing, I do have to run past these drakes. Uh, and these sentinels. Alright, we're gonna have to... I just realized something. Solaire's still here, and he can't be. I need to send him home. So sorry, friend. But it wouldn't let me in the painting if he was still around. Alright, time to... Oh! Good, good, good. That works. So now it's just a matter of these drakes behaving. Oh, gosh. I hate hearing the lightning. I don't want to turn around, though. We're just going to run, I think. I think we're all right. And we could, I believe, just run past all the painting guardians. I don't want to have to parry and repost each and every one of them again. This has been fairly successful, I have to say. And, yep, you know what? We're just going to beeline. We are just going to go right to the painting, head in there, go back to Firelink Shrine, and I think that is where we will call it for today. Hopefully it lets me in. <laughs> I'm just assuming it will. Ah, oh, excellent. Back in the Cloister of Exiles. We will definitely come back and explore because I, I know that you said that there is... Oh, there is an invader that I've missed, and I don't want to truly miss out on that. And there's something about Crossbreed Pris Priscilla's arena that I missed. So I need to go and take a look at that. All right, Crow, let's head back. And here we are, Firelink Shrine. Can I talk to it? Wait, pray to the, bra the great Crow. Is this gonna just bring me back? I hope not. What? This black diamond ring is granted to those who enter a covenant with Velka, the goddess of sin. It automatically counterattacks when its wear inflicts sustained damage. Velka is an eccentric witch versed in various secret rites. Carry out her task and condemn the wicked, but be wary. The goddess of sin may not frown on undead who make multiple pledges, but nevertheless takes true betrayal to heart. That's Velka. <laughs> this is Velka. According to Grimrock, this is Velka, the goddess of sin. How cool is that? And it sounds like she has some sort of quest line for us. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. And we will definitely try that ring out. In fact, I'm putting it on right now. Because it almost sounds like this is the karmic justice. <gasps> Sigmire's here. All of our friends are starting to join. And we have something for Miss Anastasia. And I think on that note, that is going to do it for this episode of Dark Souls, the Donders of Ashmod. Next time, well, I don't know. Part of me is leaning towards catacombs. Other... Parts of me are telling me to head into the forest. But if you have an idea, put it in the comments below, and maybe that's the one that I will follow. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're having a great time, and I will see you next time.